Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, we'll get right to it. Uh, what you're looking at here are the new tail lights that I installed here on the Jeep. And what you're looking at here is one of the tail lights removed. And everything was good with these except for the fact that I was a little bit, um, I guess you could say, concerned uh, when um, I had a buddy of mine following me and he had said that the, the brake lights were really dim. And um, ever since then I've been troubleshooting to try to figure out why and here I am thinking the whole time maybe it's something wrong with the these are the Quadratech LED lights um, for Jeeps and uh, it wasn't likely that that was the case so I decided to do a little bit more investigation so let's take you in here and you can see my setup here uh, this is kind of what you have to build to get the brake light switch out of these Jeeps uh, this is a 93 Wrangler for those who haven't been following my channel but I decided to um, investigate further because when you push the brake pedal down, um, I would get I would get stoplights, but very very dim. So um, if the actual uh, lights were on and you hit the brake light, you wouldn't even you you couldn't tell a difference in anything. Turn signals were super bright, um, so bright to the point where you could almost see them reflect off the street uh, when you were driving in a straight line forward. I mean, it was they were really bright, so I knew something wasn't right. So. Let's get down to it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what to look for here when you pull up in one of these brake light switches. And this is probably true for any of the Jeeps. Um, probably any anything that uses the same style brake light switch as this. This is a uh, brake light switch that's been obviously taken apart. And I isolated the, the four wires here that basically run the actual switch. And you'll see here, um, we have some contact pieces. This is the primary contact plate and this, plate right here that end which you can see is kind of chewed up that makes connection with this end you can see that little in the back there where I have my jumper wire attached to see how it it would hit that right there on spring action so uh, when the brake pedal is pushed down it actually draws that plate closer to that connection and it makes it and it completes the circuit which lights up the stoplight or the brake light whatever you want to call it the other side, however, is where I feel I am seeing the problem. If you see right here, the side closest to my index finger here. So see how these are all shiny. Um, you'll notice the back there. Um, see how these will kind of do that shine when I bring them across the sunlight. I actually got lucky finally and I have good light today. Um, this back one here, right here where my finger is, you can really see it good there. This back plate where these two plates would basically connect, that has a significant amount of corrosion on it. And you'd never know by looking at the actual brake light switch that that was going on inside. So what I did was I created a jumper wire. Obviously this blue wire didn't come with a switch. This is just a jumper. And I connected the jumper wire from one leg over to the other leg. And I will try to simulate this on camera so you can see. And you can't get electrocuted unless you ground yourself here. So. Let's go ahead and make that connection. So this would <clears throat> let me scratch it in really good. This is what basically the connection would be if the stoplight were triggered. And if we look over here, bingo. Go on, off. On, off. So it's flickering because I can't really hold the phone and do this at the same time, but you can see now how how much brighter it is. So what I'm gonna do, um, it's crazy because if and also yeah another quick tip if you guys are still buying parts at advanced auto parts i'm i'm all for them i used to work with them for them forever but if you guys are still buying parts there check amazon first i it's crazy if you look up the stoplight switch for a 93 wrangler on advanced auto parts this assembly which is basically cut myself good there this assembly right here you can see the the pigtail four wire into the brake light switch and then obviously it has the plunger the plunger would be back here uh the assembly is 97 dollars at advanced auto parts it was 27 dollars with prime shipping uh at amazon so i mean that's a a pretty crazy uh price jump um that advance is doing over there so just go ahead and check out uh amazon i mean i'm all for again supporting advance and everything but I don't know, I just feel like that's 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 gouging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the new one to come in. Um, I'll get all this kind of cleaned up and, and put back together here. But I thought it might be interesting to show you um, 
what to look for on some of these stoplight switches because you I was racking my brain for for days trying to figure out what could possibly be wrong I was chasing the wires in here on the on the side rail going back into the taillights trying to figure out maybe something wasn't grounding correctly I had unbolted them from the back of the Jeep numerous times trying to see if there was a ground issue there and it just wasn't making sense so finally decided to just crack open the switch and take a look and there it is there that leg is real corroded and the rest of them are perfect so it looks like that gets the most use or maybe creating a, a little bit of an arc uh, each time the brake was pushed and then you add that up over the course of 20 plus years and you get that corrosion that kind of builds up probably the same thing that happens to a battery so that's it. So if you guys have one of these Jeeps and you got dim taillights or you just have a vehicle that has dim taillights, get, <laughs> you're gonna have to do a, you're gonna have to be a gymnast to get up under here in these Jeeps. I probably should have took the seat out, but get up under there, take your time, take out your switch, open it up, which is just as simple as, this is what the case is that surrounds it. This kind of sits in here like this. You just undo these tabs on the sides, pull it open, look at the contacts and see if they're corroded. If they are, replace the switch. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Later.